there, Simon at Rugby Double Glazing. Just thought we'd take a few moments to talk to you about designing your conservatory or your garden room. And then thought behind this is that the more time you spend before you build it, then the better, the more useful it'll be for you. You'll be able to look at all the different parts of the market. You'll be able to see things that you perhaps don't, don't realise. So go in, look around our conservatory first and show you some of the things first thing we've got is this high wall. Now high walls are a brilliant idea because they give you some privacy from your neighbour. If like us you're up against your neighbour's fence we find that it's much better to have a high wall here. It gives you some privacy, it also means if you've got noisy neighbours then they're not intruding on your piece in your uh, garden room. It also means they're not having to listen to our music or our laughter or our fun that we have in here. It also means that you can put up pictures, you can put up favourite photos of the family, or as we've done here, we've put a big wide mirror. And the, one of the reasons behind this is it gives this whole room a sense of being larger than it actually is. Mirrors are a great idea, they elongate the length of the room. So you get a, a, a depth of of size that isn't actually there. The next idea that we wanted was to have these big panoramic windows so we could see the garden. We didn't want all the lots of lines, we didn't want lots of UPVC going down, or the little traditional fan-like windows. We thought that was a bit too fussy for this room. What we wanted to do was to have the maximum amount of glass so we could look out and enjoy our garden. You can't see it at the moment, but I love my roses, and this is a place where we can sit and enjoy the view of the roses when they come out. The other thing you'll notice is we've gone for a pastel shade of frame colour. We didn't want white, we thought that was too stark between ourselves and the garden. So we've gone for an agate grey. These are Vika frames and they are foiled with this muted colour and it just seems to work really well. It takes away that shine between us and the garden. Some of the other tricks that we've employed in this room is over here. Now you can't see it very well from here but we, our garden is about three foot taller than the base and we've got some steps so we wanted to, to be secure so that people didn't walk up and down and potentially injure themselves so we've employed a couple of things here the first thing we've done is to introduce this tilt and turn window now they're very popular on the continent they're becoming more and more popular here as people understand how useful they are in a room. The first action of a tilt and turn window is that the window tilts inwards. It tilts inwards by about six inches. That gives you a nice bit of secure ventilation. The second movement is where the window opens inwards and this means that anyone going up and down the steps outside isn't going to suffer an injury. It also is a really useful trick if you have a, a room, a window that is difficult to clean from outside, this means you get to clean the whole lot from inside. Tilt and turn windows really useful. The second thing we've employed is patio sliding doors. Now they went out of fashion a little bit, um, people preferred the French doors, but in the right place it is a perfect door to have. And again here we've got quite limited access outside, so we didn't want doors that open out that you have to walk around. They also, French doors can blow about in the wind, so we went for these sliding patio doors. 
Again, they're a Vika door, they've got a, uh, a stainless steel track, stainless steel rollers, so they operate very nice and smooth. It also gives us the opportunity to have more glass. You can have a wider patio door than you can French doors. And we find we've still got enough room to get in and out, but without that hazard having doors opening outwards. So now we come to the choice for the roof. There's lots of different opportunities now with, with um, modern insulated warm roofs and that's what we've gone for here. You can also have a glass roof, you can have different shapes, you can have an orangery where you have a flat platform with a lantern going off it. It's really about what looks good on your house and how you want your room to look. We've gone for the insulated warm roof, it has a tiled exterior, it has a plasterboard and skimmed finish interior. We've, paint, we've painted it white so again you get lots of light, it doesn't make the room dark, it also doesn't make our kitchen look any darker. We've put a couple of Velux roof lights in the ceiling and again that just increases the natural light coming into this room. We are north facing so we don't have a, too much of a problem with too much direct hot sunlight. So this is a lovely ambient temperature. The warm roof now keeps it warm, it takes very little to heat and it just means we can use this room as an extension to the house for 12 months of the year. Anyway, thanks for watching this short uh, video. If you're thinking of, of building yourself uh, an extension, a, a garden room, or you want to update your existing conservatory, give us a call. Our telephone number is rugby 01788 572 685. We've got some great designers who are more than happy to show you the options, talk through the opportunities you've got with your room. Everything we do is bespoke, everything we do is created just for you. Thank you.